Inside this box are one of the lightest pairs of road shoes that Specialized has ever produced. Let's take them out of the box and have a closer look. But first, what a cool box. Never seen anything like that before. So let's get these new shoes out of the box. Pretty excited about this. There they are. Remove all the wrapping material and wow, look at those shoes. How awesome do those shoes look? Wow, they look amazing. They look fast, they look light, they look pretty incredible. Now, these are the new S-Works Exos shoe. They weigh a claimed 150 grams per shoe for a size 42. Now, is that too heavy for you and not light enough? There's the Exos 99, which, as the name implies, weighs a claimed 99 grams. And they do that by replacing the Boa dial with laces. But these are one of the lightest Boa dial equipped shoes on the market. Let's put them on the scales and see what this size 45 shoe actually weigh. They're still pretty light and before I did this video, I had a quick look around to see what other shoes are in the same sort of ballpark with weight. And the Giro Pro Light Tech Lace came up in a search. They are 150 grams claimed for a 42.5, but they use a combination of Velcro and laces. So this probably is one of the lightest Boa Dial equipped shoes you can currently buy. But let me know if you know of any lighter shoes, production shoes on the market, which come anywhere near these in the comment section below. So how are they so light? Well, it's all down to the upper. Now, they've been using the Dyneema material for the last few years on their S-Works shoes, the latest S-Works 7 use of them. They've used the same material again here, but just with a backing mesh. So two layers rather than three layers, and it's this gray material you can see here. Now, Dyneema is a very strong non-stretch material. That lack of stretch means there's no reinforcement needed in the shoe, so the material does a really good job of retaining your foot inside the shoe and it does it at a very low weight. That Dyneema material is complemented by a softer material around the toe box and in the heel cup as well. And the heel cup is a softer material than the quite rigid padlock heel on the s 7. So it should still give a reasonable amount of retention, stop your heel lifting, but it does it with a lighter weight, softer, more conforming material and there's a small little tab for getting the shoe on and off nice and easily. These two materials are welded and bonded together. There's no stitching. They kept the joints as light and as flat, low profile as possible and gives it a really distinctive, cool look. The only stitching I see is around the back where the heel material is added to the back of the shoe there. Now, as I mentioned, these use a Boa dial. The lighter Exos 99 uses laces, but these use a Boa dial. Boa dials are really easy to use. They don't use the same Boa dial they developed for the S-Work 7, those CNC metal dials, and there's only one of them. It's a Boa IP1 dial, and it pulls the laces, the cord, uh, both ways, so only one dial is needed rather than two. And it's easy to use, micro adjustment, and it pops to release all the tension in the cord. And it's mounted onto the tongue, and the channel is slightly offset to help spread the pressure and avoid any hot spots across the top of the foot as well. The tongue in question has a little bit of padding underneath the bird dial just to help ensure you have comfort while keeping the weight as low as possible. So that's the upper, pretty funky looking upper. Let's have a look at the carbon fiber sole. And it's a very similar fare to the S-Work 7 carbon sole. Indeed, it's based on the S-Work 7 sole, but they use pressure mapping to remove carbon where it's not needed and reduce the weight as much as possible. So these big areas here are areas of carbon they've removed using the pressure mapping technology. They're not really for ventilation, but they have added the mesh, so it probably will provide a bit of extra cooling in hot weather, but it's mainly there to remove weight while maintaining a high level of stiffness. Now for stiffness, they give a stiffness rating of 13 on their own scale, so it's still very stiff, but not quite as stiff as the s 7. So you want maximum stiffness for sprinting and power transfer, the S-Work 7 still trumps this, but it doesn't give much away considering how light these shoes are. Also on the sole, we can see a extra bit of material at the top just to provide a bit of durability when you're walking around off the bike and a replaceable heel button there, which is a nice little detail. And there's titanium hardware for the three bolt cleat setup there with plenty of markings to adjust the cleats into your desired position. 
Inside you get the familiar body geometry technology in the sole, so with a various wedge, uh, metatarsal button and so on, with an Etherworks very lightweight wafer thin sole there and I'll show you this. If I just do that, you can see how lightweight that upper is. There's almost nothing to the shoe. Look at that. Wow. That is not anything I've seen possible on a road shoe in the past. You can completely squash it down. That's how little shoe there is. And you can really feel when you're holding your hands, there's just a carbon fiber sole with a, this wafer thin, super lightweight upper attached to it. it it's quite astonishing, really. So, yeah, some impressive engineering. And inside, you can see the attention to detail in how they've constructed the, the shoe, the upper there, and, and attach it to the carbon fiber sole. Some very impressive technology and a seriously impressive low weight. Also impressive is the price tag. Now, I hope you're sitting down for this because the price tag is rather large, a bit larger than the weight of these shoes. Yes, they cost £450, okay? That's a lot of money, a lot of money indeed. The Exos 99 shoes, if you want the lightest weight shoes, well, they are £650. £650, guys, that's a crazy amount of money. But they're not the most expensive shoes you can currently buy because those Mavic shoes I tested two years ago, they're £900. So you can spend more than these shoes, but that's still some way above the... 250 to 300 pound going price for a top end pair of shoes from Specialized, City or Physique or Giro or any other brand. So who are they for? Well, clearly they are for weight weenies, people who weigh their porridge oats before a ride. These are the shoes they will be interested in provided they can afford the price tag of these shoes. For professional racing cyclists, these are clearly a good shoe for a mountain stage or a mountain TT where you want every marginal gain you weighed your bike, make sure it's right on the UCI 6.8 kilo weight limit. You've got your skin suit on and you've got these shoes to give you that marginal gain. But Specialized says they have the durability and the comfort to provide daily riding performance. So if you want to use these on a daily basis instead of the s 7, which might be a more natural choice for everyday riding, these should stand up to the demands of everyday riding. And I'm sure we'll see plenty of people using these on a daily basis. I mean, if you're gonna spend 450 pounds on a pair of shoes, you don't wanna take them for Sunday best, do you? You wanna use them and get the most out of them. So that then has been a quick first look at the brand new Specialized S-Works x shoes, available now. And as luck would have it, these are my size. So I'm gonna fit some cleats and go and ride them. And in my next video, I'll give you the first ride impressions on what they're like, and whether they deliver the performance you expect from a shoe with such a price tag, or whether they are compromised in that pursuit of low weight. I really can't wait to find out what they'd like to ride because they look fantastic. I think they look really good. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you digging them? Are you hating them? Let me know what you think. I always love to hear your thoughts on these latest products, guys. So let me know in the comment section below. But that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy watching this video and hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any future videos from myself and the rest of the Bro CC team. But I'll catch you all again next time.